I'm almost at a loss for words right now. Green Bay Packers. I had such high hopes for the Green Bay Packers this year. With the defense, and I thought Rodgers would, you know, work these young guys in. And by the end of the season, you know, I thought they would start slow and then play really well late. Rodgers would make some of these young wide receivers into something. Packers would run the ball, play defense. Such high hopes for the Green Bay Packers. Even though the, 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 the nail isn't completely in the coffin right now, it has been... It has that first whack into the wood, if you know what I mean. And right now that's the Green Bay Packers. And they got three tough games coming up. They're at home against the Cowboys. And you know Mark McCarthy would want to give it to us. And he might. Titans at home. Derrick Henry, which doesn't bode well for our run defense. And then we got at Philly who's undefeated. That's our next three games. Big reason why I said the Green Bay Packers had to win this game in Detroit. And that's why I feel so devastated because even though the Packers aren't completely out of it, the Packers are three and six with three tough games coming up, which we could easily lose all three and be three and nine. And then at that point, what do we do? At that point, it's probably over. I don't think it's completely over yet. I just do not know what what can be done at this point because we found out we find out today Rashawn Gary tore an ACL out for the season. Romeo Dobbs on the first play, high ankle sprain, out four to six weeks. Eric Stokes. In a walking boot and crutches, I believe, after the game. Even though that position, I believe, that position we're okay because I think Razul Douglas has been playing out of position this whole season because they wanted to work in three corners. And now it can be Jair and Razul on the outside. Nixon in the, in the you know, the corner packages or the nickel packages. Darnell Savage, I don't know, man. He's probably got to go next year, but I don't think the defensive side is going to be hurt too bad. And I don't. And right now, the Green Bay Packers are number six on defense overall. They are number six. They're second against the pass. Teams cannot throw the cannot throw the ball on them. But we all know the run defense is pretty poor. But I think the Green Bay Packers right now, the defense is not the problem. The defense is not the problem right now. Even though everybody seems to think it is. The Green Bay Packers, all their problems are on the offense. Rodgers almost never throws picks. He threw three of them. Rodgers almost never throws red zone interceptions, and he threw two of them. I mean, we moved the ball against the Lions with the worst defense in the NFL. We moved the ball. And again, it's like, as a fan, I just feel like these last five games that we've lost, I always walk away optimistic that there's still something to hold on to. In this game, it was just injuries. I just feel like the injuries devastated us in this game, and there were... You know, no excuse. We should have won it anyways. And we should have won this game if Rodgers doesn't throw one of those red zone picks and we get a touchdown instead. Bakhtiari was wide open. He catches that. I mean, the Packers probably win the game. It's like one play, man. All these games, it comes down to like a few plays and we just get... And we just can't do them, dude. We can't, we can't uh, execute them. I'm still optimistic. As a Packer fan, I always will be. 
doesn't matter if we win the Super Bowl or if we're 0-17. I'm a Packer fan, and I will always be positive. And the Packers are not out of it yet. Things are just very bleak at this moment, and I'm starting to realize maybe I was a little too positive on the Green Bay Packers. Maybe just a little bit too positive. Always was saying it was always this is the reason why we lost this game. The reason why we lost this game was because of that. But the Packers are struggling right now. I mean, we'll get to see truly the Green Bay Packers in this three-game stretch because we got three really tough opponents. We will not be favored in probably any of these games coming up. Um, looking at the schedule, we might not even, it's possible we, we don't even win another game all year, which would be freaking crazy to think about. But the way we're playing right now, we will not win another game. But we have nothing to lose, man. I think, honestly, get these young guys out there. I pref I mean, I would, I would bench Sammy Watkins. Just throw out Toure out there. Throw out Watson. Have Watson run some actual wide receiver routes instead of just bubble screen shit. Have him running some routes. See what these guys got. And let's go. Let's, let's play spoiler if we have to. But in the end, it sucks as a fan because I don't think the Green Bay Packers are the worst team in the NFL. They're obviously probably not the best team in the NFL. And when you're in the middle of the road, you get a middle of the road draft pick. Um, so I don't know. A little disappointed, man, because I had high hopes for this team. Just a bummer. Freaking absolute bummer, dude. But yeah, go pack, go till I die. Been spoiled the last 30 years, pretty much. What's around the corner for the Green Bay Packers in the next 10 years, I have no idea. But go Pack Go.